Hey, what's up guys? My name is Wes. On my channel, I share everything I do and every secret I have on staying young, healthy, strong, and super fit. I also share how to stay fighting fit and how to be badass in self-defense for all those over the age of 40 and 50. You will hear me often say on my channel, one of my favorite quotes, I will not let age change me, I will change the way I age. This is mainly what my whole channel is about. So today's topic is about mobility, which affects a lot of older people. So before we dive in, please consider subscribing and hit the bell to get notified for new uploads. I'll be uploading videos every weekend. Today I'll be sharing with you a very important mobility exercise and how you can achieve it in a fairly easy way. I'm going to show you step by step the technique that will allow you to sit and get up from the floor, even if you are laying down in a supine position, in one single quick movement without the use, without putting your hands on the floor. There are many videos on YouTube showing you how to get up from the floor, but in this one you will learn a cool movement that in appearance might seem difficult, but if it is so damn easy. Or you just have to put in some practice and before you know it, you'll be able to get up in one go flawlessly. I have practiced many martial arts, combat sports and grappling sports. And in many situations, you want to be able to get up as quickly as possible to escape an attack on the ground and you want to, have to be ready to defend yourself. This would be beneficial for young and older folks and it is quite easy to achieve. It, it does not require much leg strength, it's just a matter of executing the technique in a proper manner. It's more about using mo momentum and leverage, have some flexibility and just a little bit of strength. You don't really need much. So in this video, I cover only one of my favorite mobility moves, but I will be doing another more complete video covering all aspects about mobility and flexibility and the daily exercises I do consistently to preserve both. This is important for younger and older folks. You just have to keep in mind that for those who don't like working out, you still wanna do regular exercises to keep being mobile and flexible. And all it takes are just a few low intensity exercises I will be showing you in this video that you do every day, that you can do in three to 10 minutes, but the key is consistency. And of course, possibly, you have to do them every day. So let's just dive in and I will be showing you how to achieve this movement in a very easy manner and the regular exercises you have to be doing to increase your strength and your capability to do it effortlessly. I will show you step by step the technique and how easy it is to sit down and to get up from the floor, whether you're sitting down or laying supine on your back, and how it is easy in one smooth, quick movement to get up. And I will show you all the side exercises that you can do to help you achieve this movement. It might feel difficult at the beginning, but if you follow the instructions I give you, you will see how it is absolutely easy. I just turned 56 uh, a few days ago, and uh, one of the most important thing for me is to keep mobile and active. Mobility is essential. Flexibility and mobility are both to anyone. Now, I will show you how easily I sit by doing crossing my legs and doing a rotation and very easily sit down. The same thing, now before getting up, I put this leg forward and I kick it behind to create momentum and the, at the same time I will use my hands throwing my hands forward to create um, a counterweight and to create to generate momentum that will bring my body forward so that I can get up so one two and three and Now we will try being laying down on supine position and how you can do it. 
Okay, we lay down. Here we can just use the movement by throwing our hands forward at the same time using the leg to kick in and at the same time after we kick we bring it down here so we facilitate the rotation okay there you go very easy it doesn't require force it just requires generating the momentum we try again with another method i have where you grab just uh, below the knee on your shin and you kick with the other leg it's obviously easier when you while you're getting up to turn to the side it makes it a lot easier you have your weight shift into the side so you're not uh, having difficulty doing it uh, now I will talk to you about the movements and the exercises that I do to uh, to condition my body and to be able to do this now there is uh, there are a lot of exercises you can do and uh, I do many you can choose which one work for you normally you have to do a lot of planks a lot of uh, abs I do a lot of push-ups body weight squats lunges on a daily basis I will do five to ten minutes exercises that, uh, that have nothing to do with my regular workouts these are just routines daily routines that I do to keep a certain bare minimum of conditioning conditioning and flexibility eight nine ten now the lunges are very important because when you get up that's you do it home All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and that you will try doing this movement. Please let me know in the comment below if this is something you already do, if you find it easy to do, or if you need any more tips on how to do it easily. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next week. Bye.